Now I'm really enjoying tracking the deer and hope you are too. I was up here the other day and um, sneaking around, I had my binoculars, haven't brought the binoculars today, can't believe it. And I haven't brought the long lens so it's going to be typical that I see something that I wish I'd brought the big camera for. But you can't always bring all the gear. Anyway, I was up here and I spotted the deer down there and uh, came around to try and get closer to it and I did manage to get close. And I'll show you that footage now. And as you can see, there is, uh, there's more than one deer here. We've got the female with the two young and there are actually two males. Hello, welcome to my channel. Hope you're all feeling strong and well. I'm out to pick my trail cameras up. Uh, my wildlife cameras, they're down here somewhere, if I can remember where I've put them. I can't believe I've forgotten the binoculars. <laughs> can't believe it. Um, <laughs> this is what I'm looking out over, and the deer are down there somewhere. And I keep thinking I can see them, but without the binoculars, I can't be sure. But I'm getting used to where they actually hang out now. And uh, I can't believe I didn't bring the binoculars. So uh, my cameras are down there. We're going to go down and get them, see what footage we've, uh, we've got. Now I'm sneaking down at a different angle to which I put them out. So I'm having to keep an eye on where I am. Haven't seen any deer yet, but there's lots of other wildlife around here, as you can imagine. I've actually seen weasels, foxes, and uh, there's some birds of prey. I think that was a buzzard back there that I could hear. And there's kestrels over this way, I've seen them. So there's lots more wildlife to go at, but uh, I am obsessed with the deer that I found, especially that I found this little family here. And uh, I want to uh, keep an eye on them throughout the seasons. So we are, of course, still in summer right now. We've had some bad weather, but it's a glorious evening and I thought I'd bring you out with me. There's something up there. I've got pretty good eyesight over long distance. I can spot the unusual. You've got to be able to do when you're trying to spot wildlife, just something that just doesn't look right. And it's just up, you can't even see it on the GoPro lens, but there's something, something up there. I think it might be watching me. It's just too far away.
I picked the hard way <laughs> and you can see I fell. I don't think there's any other option but to just go for it. But <laughs> this is difficult. The camera is just over there. We're well, just over there. A fair bit yet, but I'm exhausted. It doesn't look like much, but I've just climbed up there. It's all just loose stuff. Uh, what am I doing? We're getting the trail cams, that's what we're doing. No sign of deer. With all this huffing and puffing. They can hear me coming. So I'm still out of breath. <laughs> it's about 30 seconds since I last spoke to you. I nearly missed the trail cam, it's just down there. I was gonna carry on up. It uh, looks totally different this way around, but I've just spotted it down there. So let's go and get this camera. So it all looks well. A little bit of something on the lens. Hope it hasn't obscured the footage. We will see when we get back and I will be showing you the footage as always at the end of the vlog or during. Um, so yeah, this one looks all good and uh, I figured that it was a great spot just looking out over this way. Hopefully we got some wildlife coming down. There is a little water that runs down here. So maybe they sneak down here for a bit of a drink. Running water, not running so fast now. When I did put the camera out, it was running pretty fast. So we'll get this camera down and then we've got one more to pick up. Now I have purchased a new trail camera and I'm going to tell you whose fault it is. It's, uh, it's somebody's fault and you might know who it is uh, when I tell you a little bit later on in this vlog when we're going to get the next camera. Wow, <laughs> that was quite a trek round. I've gone all the way around, right around the top, down the bottom, picked the first one up and we're at the location of the second one. What do you think? Bit of a different type, I'll just show you. Bit of a different type of setup there really. I've uh, just put it on this stone with another flat stone on top, just weighing it down. And I could see some deer tracks along here. So I'm hoping that uh, I've got some uh, some footage of the deer coming past here. So we will see, and I'm so glad that I picked this one up. Quite exhausted. It's getting late on in the evening. Now I'm gonna get back for my tea. Uh, I'm gonna give my lass a, a call and, uh, and let her know to get tea on. And we will see uh, what we've got on these cameras. Now I nearly forgot to tell you about my new trail camera. And the reason I got a new trail camera, well, Dan, the trail cam man. <laughs> I've been watching his channel and uh, I like these cam parks and I've been waiting for them to come out with another one. They've come out with a few actually, but none that really was such an upgrade from these. I've had these a while, and these are still great cameras. I'll continue to use them. They take eight batteries. So yeah, eight batteries, and when you use them as often as I do, you soon start going through them. So it would be worth the investment if there was a better camera out there, and it's taken a while. But Trail Cam Dan, Dan the trail cam man <laughs> it's one of them too but I'll put a link to his channel excellent channel and he uses them and reviews them and there's no point in me doing a review on it I will show it you when I put it out uh, sometime a great camera and uh, it's got an internal battery 
and it's got a solar, little solar panel on top and I'm really excited to put it out there and it's got way better footage. It's got two lenses on it, one that does some kind of, uh, one that specializes in, in the nighttime and dusk and then of course the daytime. So should be getting a lot better footage. It does 4K, but uh, I don't really mess with 4K. I found 1080 to be, to be good enough. The pictures have got to be a lot better. So interesting camera anyway, and I'll show it you next time. So excited to use that, yeah. This one that I've just picked up is actually dead. I hope it hasn't corrupted the SD card. We will see. So, back for my tea now. Let's have a look at the footage. So, <laughs> so what did we get? Nothing, absolutely nothing. Both uh, SD cards, both cameras, nothing on there. Just the old man um, putting the cameras out, walking away and then picking them back up. I'm so glad that you came with me. It was quite a journey picking them up and I enjoyed it. I hope you did too. Uh, you win some, you lose some. That's what it's like with the trail cams. Sometimes you don't get anything spectacular, but I'm very surprised that I didn't get anything, nothing past both cameras. So uh, I don't know where I'll be next time, but uh, I know I want you with me. I upload vlogs about once a month. So uh, consider subscribing. Until the next one, bye.